Councillor Kyogen, can you tell us what happened here at your offices in Dulique last night? Well, I'm unsure of the time that this happened, but I'm sure there's going to be some witnesses out there that might have seen something. But my office was a victim of a, an arson attack here last night um, at some stage or early morning this morning. Um, we have CCTV in the town and the Garda and the forensics are uh, looking through that to see if they can find any information. But it's quite evident some sort of a brick was used to, to break the window here and uh, an accelerant was used to try and set fire to the office here uh, last night uh, or early hours this morning. Now this uh, attack on your office comes just hours after you did make comments in relation to the shooting incident in Drogheda last night. You have been quite outspoken about crime and drug crime in the area and do you think that this attack is related to that? It, it possibly could be. I mean everybody knows that I am very much anti-drugs and anti-drug dealing and uh, I've been very vocal on that not just for the last couple of months but for the last couple of years. Um, our town has suffered greatly as a result of drug dealing and uh, petty dealers and we've suffered loss of life here in our town. So yes, when it comes to protecting the people that I represent, I will always speak out against these drug dealers and I'm happy to do so always. And this attack last night won't deter you from that? I'm absolutely shocked that actually I have been attacked. Um, everything I do here is always for the greater good of the community. Um, I'm not going to stop. I cannot stop and let these people win. I don't, we have to keep fighting back. And the commu this, this is not just an attack against me. It's an attack against the whole community. And we all must rally. We, we have to rally in together and stick together if we're going to win this, drug, uh, this war on drugs.